Hey everyone, Danielle here with Power Diary. In this brief tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to easily access Power Diary from your mobile device or tablet. So grab your nearest device and let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get on your mobile device or tablet and go to your main search browser. In this case, I have an iPhone, so I am gonna go ahead and use Safari. I open it up and I'm going to go into the navigation and put in Power Diaries web address. Now I'm on Power Diaries main website. Next, I'm going to click the drop down and go to login and I'll be taken to the login page. From here, I'm going to go and put my login information, which I already have it saved, and I'm going to log in. And there you go. Now you're on Power Diaries portal. You have everything in front of you that you will need to schedule appointments, make appointments, add new clients, everything that you can do on the desktop version, now you can do on the mobile version. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, I do not want to go to my browser every time and log in. That's just annoying. Well, guess what? We have an easy, quick, fix for you. At the very bottom of your screen, you should see a box with an arrow button on it. You're going to want to go ahead and click it and it will bring up a listing of all these places you can share this website with. We're going to want to go ahead and click add to home screen. Power Diary, it's got the, the web address that we are just on. We're going to add it to our home screen. And there you go. Now Power Diary is right there on your home screen amongst your other apps ready for you to use quickly and easily. By clicking on it, you're taken back to the page. And again, you can utilize all the features of Power Diary's desktop version on your mobile device. So if we wanted to make an appointment for a, new, a client, one of our existing clients, let's call it Kevin, and we want to make it today, we want to put, um, you know, second appointment. So we have a little note. Go ahead and do that. We can pick his service and save the appointment. You can also send notes, emails, text message reminders, anything that you need to do. You can send the invoice. You can do it again right here on the mobile application. Then you just close, you're back to your dashboard, you see his appointment, and you're ready to go. So I hope this tutorial was nice, quick, and easy for you. And if you have any others that you would like to see, please reach out to us. Have a great day.